Okay, everybody, good afternoon, and um, a very big welcome to uh, our special guest this afternoon, Carl Bernstein, who I'm delighted has given us uh, some of his, his time during his visit to the UK to come and visit us here at, at Cardiff. I guess, Carl, I should start by saying that uh, obviously we read a lot about the crisis in news and the crisis in journalism these days, both economic and here in the UK with phone hacking and an ethical crisis. What, what can you say to young journalists, to students starting out on their career, uh, to give them some encouragement about going into this business. Let me tell you a little bit about my own story is probably the best way. Uh, I'm a college dropout, and I went to work when I was 16 years old for a great newspaper in Washington, the Washington Star, which was the afternoon paper. It was a better paper than the Washington Post then in 1960. And this wonderful, fabulous, assemblage of reporters and editors who taught me the most basic thing I know about this craft, which is that good reporting, good journalism, is the best obtainable version of the truth. Very simple concept, but where you really get the good stories is at night. You know, if you look at the movie of all the president's men, you'll see that all reporting is done at night. <laughs> Uh, there's, because the truth comes out much better at night, I think. Uh, you get to people in their homes, away from their offices, away from pressure and intimidation, while they're more relaxed, they might have had a drink or two. Uh, but the other thing is, you're on your own time. If there's, if there's no backing for investigative journalism in the States, if no model comes forward that can afford right. investigative journalism, what's the consequence for American public life without, if it loses investigative journalism? I don't think that's going to happen. I really don't. I think the instinct of reporters is to report. And I don't think that's going to change. Uh, I think the fact that you're up here today is evidence that that's not going to change. Let's talk about great reporting for a moment. It's always been the exception. It's never been the rule. And uh, that's why I go back to Woodward's maxim about almost all good journalism is done in defiance of management. Uh, you know, it's not that the woman or man who is just satisfied to uh, go report on the speech of the governor who's going to do the really terrific reporting. It's going to be the one, the reporter, who uses his own time and goes out at night. I'm going to end where I started. And look at all the president's men. Look at, and, and one last thing about reporting. Be a good listener. I believe that most people, if they're approached right by a reporter, who gives a sense that his or her purpose is not to manufacture controversy and stick a microphone in his face and ask a, a question uh, designed to get the reporter to run out of the room and run back to the studio and put on the air that so-and-so said X, Y, and Z about what somebody said yesterday to manufacture. I think my experience, two things. One, my preconceived notion of a story when I started on it, which we all have to have, has invariably been different than what the story turned out to be. Watergate, I thought probably if there was anything there, it went to the CIA wrong. Every story, you gotta have an idea in your head of, okay, well, maybe it's this, maybe it's that, I'll go see so-and-so, but you gotta follow it to where it goes. Part of that is about being a good listener. Let people tell you what they want to tell you, not what you think you want to hear. Be respectful. <coughs> Show some humility. The fact that we got a press card doesn't make us special. It's made us arrogant too often. 
And people know it, and they're pissed off about it, and they're right to be. Uh, people want to tell the truth. I really believe that. Maybe they'd have to go to your question, to anonymity to do it. But I think most people want to tell the truth and don't think they get a fair shake out of us telling it. So I think that's our big task. And I thank you very much for having me here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck.